So welcome back everybody to another barn find hunt and uh, yeah we're on barn find number 11 and uh, yeah if this um, car that we're looking for isn't a uh, new car to the Forza series or one that we haven't had for a while then we'll officially be in a worse position than we were with Forza Horizon 4 as there were six barn finds in uh, that game that uh, we hadn't had for a while in a Forza series, a Forza game or hadn't had before at all. Uh, five of those were uh, new to the Forza series in general and one was a returnee from Forza and what's what four so uh, yeah here's hoping that we finally get something new to the series or a uh, long time returnee uh, because uh, yeah these bottom fans have been a massive disappointment overall so far so uh, yeah let's hope that this one isn't and uh, yeah we're trying to find it in the Aston Martin Valhalla concept car now again, I was going to review this car, but when I looked up what the actual production car is going to be like, it was radically different to this. It doesn't share the same engine, doesn't have all-wheel drive, and uh, yeah, it has less power, so it uh, didn't really seem relevant to me to uh, you know, review it when uh, it's not going to be anything like this. Which is a shame, because this is a superb car, it's usually one of my favourite vehicles to drive on this game, but yeah. Fortunately, uh, the re real version isn't going to be anywhere near as good as this, unfortunately, so, uh, or at least not nothing like this, so, uh, yeah, which is a great shame, because this is insane. It's got a 3 litre V6 engine, I'm not sure if it's turbocharged or not, it probably is, uh, that is synced up with two electric motors, front and rear, which is why it's all-wheel drive, and, uh, yeah, more than a thousand horsepower, it's doing more than 200 miles an hour, and weirdly enough, it feels like something that can work off-road as well as on-road, despite it obviously being a hypercar. I've had really good fun in this, just going around off-road courses and stuff. Nothing too taxing, granted, but still. Pretty uh, arduous for a car of this type. Where is this bar find? Imagine it'll be somewhere in here. Somewhere like here, for instance. Last few have been actually quite easy to find. This one is proving a little trickier. I don't think it's on this side to be honest. Fields and uh, trees to uh, try and look round to try and find this. Which I guess is the point. I'll point uh, putting a barn find slap back in the middle of an open field and going, there you go. side of this road over here. We don't go hitting trees that is. So yeah I do love the look of this car though and that is what is mostly going to be the same kind of thing between this and the uh, production vehicle. But yeah. Engine being radically different. Uh, it's going to be the Mercedes Benz V8 that uh, Aston Martin have used a, in a, a few cars now. Which yeah, just seems a bit boring really. Why you have a hyper car that costs you know, 800 grand or whatever, uh, that is just going to be sharing an engine that is pretty much the same thing as in your far cheaper vehicles. Seems a bit of a uh, con, really, to me. Feels a bit more exclusive to have a uh, engine that is not in use in any other vehicle. Where is this barn find? That is the ultimate question. Yep, 
This is definitely probably the trickiest one that we've tried to find so far. Give me around blind. Oh, this is well hidden. Fault here. See, they're, all, they're completely obvious when you know where they are. <laughs> right, let's be a new car to the series or an old returnee. Come on. Wow, <sighs> that is a piece of history. Disappointed. Very early. Right, well, yeah, this is now a game that has gone backwards in terms of barn finds. Completely backwards, because we so far only have three new to the series. And no old returnees. So, uh, so we're gonna call you. Yeah, we'll send a gift gift shop. Uh, I think I have a multiple of something here. Somewhere. Or maybe not. Pretty sure I did. Uh, purely because I prefer the 90... what is it? 93? 92 version? I'm going to give away the 94 version of the 2 of the Celica. Uh, new players... There we go. Right, so, uh, yeah. A few spoilers here. Now that I'm just going to go through the cars that we've found so far. Uh, I'll show you the barn find as well once we get out of the garage, but yeah. These are the ones we have so far. I've unlocked another one now as well, but yeah, the BMW 2002 Turbo we've had before. The Dodge Viper GTS ACR we've had before. The Ford Mustang GT Plus 2 Plus 2 Fastback we've had before, but I am going to give that a little bit of leeway purely because it was in the festival playlist in the previous game and not in the uh, base game. Then the Dodge Dart Hemi Superstock that we've had before. The Ford Racing Escort Mark 1 that we haven't had before, although there is also a little bit of proviso on that in the fact that we did have the Mark 2 uh, rally car in a previous Forza game, but again that was in the uh, Festival Players, I think. Uh, then we got the Ford F100, which we've had before. The Sport XJR15, which we haven't had before, uh, which is a great car. GMC Jimmy, which we haven't had before. The Porsche 911 Carrera S, which we have had before, and then I have unlocked the uh, for Ferrari F40 now that Competizione that's been uh, repaired, which we've had before. Ferrari GTO, which we've had before, and the original Corvette, which we've definitely had before. So, uh, yeah, that is a massively disappointing list of uh, barn finds, to be honest. I know they're free, and that at least means that you don't have to buy them in the game, but... Yeah, the whole point of barn finds is to be something a bit more unique, a bit more like we've never had before or rarely seen in a Forza game before, like the uh, um, the uh, MG MGB GT uh, that was in Forza Horizon 4 as a barn find. Uh, we had had that before in a Forza game though, but that not since Forza Motorsport 4. So uh, yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of, you know, because there's plenty of cars from previous Forza games that we've not had for a while. I'm thinking about a Lincoln Continental or the Pontiac Aztec or you know a variety of cars really uh, that we've not had for a while so uh, yeah I would like to uh, see more of those kind of cars or new cars to the series rather than a bunch of cars that we've had in pretty much every base game going pretty sure we've had the BMW, the Dodge, both Dodges the Ford F100 and the Porsche Carrera in most and the Corvette and those two Ferraris in most car, uh, Forza games probably at least five six of them so uh, yeah that is a massive disappointment to be honest but yeah I'll show you where the barn find was and then we'll end it there so uh, yeah 
it was here. So uh, yeah, just below the motorway, right near the river, and just up from that corner on the dirt road. So uh, yeah, not f hard to find once you know where it is, but it was a little bit well hidden. But yeah, nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.